There is a common misconception that women who work are protected from financial abuse within relationships. People think that only happens to poor housewives. As a stay-at-home mom, I've always just assumed that women who work outside the home aren't nearly as vulnerable to coercive control. But Lenore Walker, a highly respected researcher on abuse, says that idea doesn't actually hold water. She talked to professional women and women who have inherited wealth who told her that their partners controlled their money. Female economic independence is not a safeguard against abuse and doesn't equate to freedom from an abuser's grasp. It's definitely true that the situation is significantly worse for non-working mothers who are totally financially dependent on their partner and especially vulnerable. But having a job doesn't actually guarantee you anything. Even when women contribute significantly to the household income, we often find ourselves not spending on our personal needs, but rather pouring our earnings back into family support. Working women are still being coerced into signing over our property rights or bailing out our partners from financial troubles, further entrenching the power imbalance. There are several ways that this can happen. So sometimes men pull out a monthly allowance for themselves and then expect the female to pay all the bills. Some men rack up debt on a credit card and depend upon their wives' income to bail them out. And some guys just expect their wives to hand over their checks to them and then they pay all the bills. The, the point is, many of us assume that coercive control has everything to do with who makes the money. But as women earn more money, they're not necessarily getting more power within the home. Many men still believe that it's a woman's job to do the majority of the housework. Or they claim to think that housework should be equal, but perceive an 80-20 split in their favor to be equal. So as women have expanded into the workforce, in many cases, it has just led to substantially more work for us to do without a corresponding increase in decision-making power, which seems crazy. So women are still expected to take care of the kids, clean the house, do almost all of the emotional labor, and then we aren't even financially equal? Where is this entitlement coming from? And why are women okay with this? Why are we not establishing female communes and living with cats? And I'm not saying that all men are abusive, but there is a huge difference for women who are able to pick men who truly believe in equality. The difference in your wealth, your health, and your status is enormous. And it depends upon your ability to discern which guys are bullshitters.